Who's in charge? What's going on? Man with a red hat. I'm Rob. This is Spally. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Y'all's dispatcher called us for us to come on out. Right. Uh, the coroner said that uh, they don't want to tell the parents yet, but uh, both children are dead in, in the fire. All right. You got two children that are seven now. Yes. So, uh, where are the parents at this time? The parents are in the neighbor's house next door. Okay. Anything else we can do for you? Uh, no, we're just cleaning up right now. Okay. Uh, you might want to come by and talk to us later. Yeah, we're, we're, we'll get our team to come by and talk to you all in a little while. Okay. okay. Thanks, Thanks sir. for what y'all do. Hey, Chaplain. Hey, bud. This is the mom and dad. Oh, my goodness. Hey. <laughs> We're the chaplains. I'm Chaplain Rob, and this is Chaplain Spally. And y'all are mom and dad? Where are our children? Okay. They were in their bedrooms. I tried to get them down the hallway, but okay. the smoke was too thick and the fire. Yeah. I'm sure they I made know. it out the window. Well, we've got the fire department, and we've got police and rescue folks over there, and they're working as hard as they can. Have you seen them? I mean, they we have, we wanted to come over. I just wanted to see We wanted to come over and get out. with you guys. We wanted to come over and get with you all. Okay? <laughs> So um, we, we just want to come over and... Um, and but they're some, okay. You, you've seen them. I have not seen them. We will, we're not going to keep information from you all as soon as we get anything. Excuse um, me. Excuse I tried me. to get to the backyard, you know, but the fireman the wouldn't courier. let me. What happened here? Come the newspaper? Me, we need yeah. them out of here. Me. We're so scared about our children. Yeah. You, if you have information, you can tell us anything. They have to know. I mean... Jared was in his there. room. I know he was in his okay. room on his where, bed. Where, where was his room? Where, it's in the back. It's the, fir in the, the first back hallway the on the left. Okay. Back room on the left. Okay. And, and where, he was in his room. All right. Where was the other child? She was in her room. She was reading a book. Lauren always reads before bedtime. And I heard her call to me. She called to me like I could get to her. Okay. Her window was closed, but it was unlocked, and we have a sticker on it, and I'm sure she must have made it out. Well, I know the fire department is still over there. They're still working. Okay. And when, um, I've got Chaplain Taylor is going to go over there and try and get as much information as we can. Okay. Chaplain, do it. I need to talk to you. As soon as you can. Okay. The coroner is called and he said let them know both children. Both children are deceased and the coroner wants me to go ahead and talk. Okay. Thanks for what you do, man. God bless. Good news. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No. No, I want to see them. Let me see the body. Show us where I they are. I want to see them. No. I want to see my baby. She made it out the window. Please, no. Uh, no. I want to see their bodies. I'm so sorry. Where are they? Where are they? They're still in the house right now. They're being taken care of. Are you sure? I mean, they must have made it out of them. No, they didn't. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna go ahead and take them down to uh, medical university. I should have made it to the room fast. I could have made it out. I tried again. You would have done it if you could. <laughs> what could we have? What could we have done differently? Were the, were the windows locked? Were they open? Did they try to get out? <laughs> Should I have stayed? Should I have gotten up? I should have gotten up. Um, Why would God do this to my babies? Why would He oh. take them away? <laughs> if only I'd have checked on them before before bedtime. I was just watching the television downstairs. What could we have done? We're glad you. Decided to see us again. We we've been struggling with a lot since since the death of our of our children. We need to know. Did they suffer? Is there anything we could have done? I can't sleep at night. Doing everything I can to keep myself busy. I just don't understand why God would let this happen. Isn't he supposed to protect us from things like this? We go to church. Pray for my kids' safety all the time. But doesn't he hear? Didn't he hear me? 
Our marriage isn't as strong as it was. We tend to blame one another, and I know it's not fair. I've been working all the time. I don't even want to come home. Neither one of us are sleeping. How can you sleep? Do you think they suffered? 